This is Duke University. Hi, I'm David Ridley. I want to tell you about a paper I wrote with my colleagues at Duke University. That paper became law. The law could save a lot of lives. It's called the Priority Review Voucher. The voucher is intended to encourage development of treatments for neglected diseases. These diseases are neglected because drug makers can't make much money from developing treatments. So drug companies are reluctant to invest millions of dollars if most of the people who need the treatments are poor. Examples of neglected diseases include malaria, leishmaniasis, and dengue. Consider malaria. There are 200 million episodes of malaria each year, resulting in a half million deaths. Most victims are kids. Consider leishmaniasis. It's transmitted by sand flies. It kills 25,000 people each year. It disfigures even more. Its victims are ostracized because it causes severe scarring and eats away at mouth and nose tissue. Consider dengue. Dengue is transmitted by mosquitoes. It is known as break bone fever because of the bone crushing intensity of the flu-like symptoms it brings. Dengue is found around the world including in neighboring countries in the Caribbean. Recently, I was in St. Martin, where there were warning signs about dengue. There are no treatments for dengue. How can we encourage drug companies to develop treatments for neglected diseases? My colleagues Jeff Moe, Henry Grabowski, and I proposed a solution. It's a prize, the Priority Review Voucher. If a drug company develops a treatment for a neglected disease, such as malaria, leishmaniasis, or dengue, they win a prize. They win a voucher for faster review of a different drug. For example, a cholesterol-lowering drug that could be a blockbuster. And that voucher can be sold to another company. We think that faster review at the Food and Drug Administration could be worth hundreds of millions of dollars. In 2006, the proposal from Jeff Moe, Henry Grabowski, and I was published in the journal Health Affairs under the title Developing Drugs for Developing Countries. The journal Health Affairs held a press conference at the National Press Club. I presented our proposal there. In this Health Affairs article, we propose a novel incentive mechanism, as Phil said, so that pharmaceutical companies will have an incentive to conduct research and development for drugs for neglected diseases. After the presentation, a reporter named Laura Blinkhorn from Congressional Quarterly approached me. She told me that Senator Brownback would like our idea. Senator Brownback, a Republican from Kansas, brought in Senator Sherrod Brown, a Democrat from Ohio. They and other senators, like Senator Lieberman, made the Priority Review Voucher law in 2007. Bill Gates spoke about the Priority Review Voucher at the World Economic Forum in Davos in 2008. He said, under a law signed by President Bush last year, any drug company that develops a new treatment for a neglected disease like malaria or TB can get priority review from the Food and Drug Administration for another product they've made. If you develop a new drug for malaria, your profitable cholesterol-lowering drug could go on the market a year earlier. This priority review could be worth hundreds of millions of dollars. What's the value of a voucher? We estimate that a voucher could be worth a couple hundred million dollars if it's applied to a blockbuster drug. There are three sources of value from the voucher. The first, reaching the market earlier, and there's time value of money. The second, being on the market for longer, 
because you launch earlier and have the same effective patent expiration date in many cases. And third, there are competitive benefits of launching closer to a competitor or even before a competitor. Recently, I received a number of calls about the value of a voucher. There's a company with a drug for leishmaniasis. They hope that that drug will be approved this spring. That's really all that company has. So the value of the company is the value of the leishmaniasis drug, which is the value of the voucher. So these bankers wanted my help estimating the value of a voucher because that's the value of the company. And conditional on approval, we think the voucher is worth a couple hundred million dollars. Recently, I hosted in my classroom Gene Seymour. Gene is the CEO of Nanoviricides. Nanoviricide. Nano, they use nanotechnology to go after viruses and side, kill them. Nanoviricide was pursuing diseases like HIV and flu because you can make money developing treatments for HIV and flu. Now, because of the priority review voucher, they're developing a drug called Dengicide. It could be the first treatment for Dengue. I've been focused on diseases like malaria, leishmaniasis, and Dengue, but in fact, there's a longer list of diseases that are eligible for a voucher. There are 16, from blinding trachoma to yaws. And in 2012, the list of voucher-eligible diseases was expanded on a trial basis to rare pediatric diseases. Another impact of the voucher is to inspire similar mechanisms. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office started a program called Patents for Humanity. If you use your patent for humanitarian ends, you can win a voucher, which you can sell, for faster patent review. So thanks to a paper, a reporter, a senator, a CEO, we may soon have new treatments for neglected diseases like dengue. So far, it looks quite promising. If you'd like to learn more about the Priority Review Voucher, please check out my webpage. Just Google Priority Review Voucher. You should see my webpage. And also feel free to contact me. I love talking about this.